So we've returned back today with the new PCB. So we're going to continue this repair on this boiler. So we can get inside the boiler and then get cracking. Before we do, just going to show you the new PCB how it is. It comes like basically like a module. So we took out the packaging. I'm just going to turn it upside down so you can see it comes as like a complete unit. So we're just going to fold this front co front cover up. I'll show you that's where the wire is going to basically just slide on. So it's like a plug and play type of thing. And then you've got the back end. The same here. So what you're going to do, you're going to take a picture of this first before you take everything off. And then from the side you've got connections here. What you'll have to do as well. On the other side there's no connection. I'm going to start with here, so if you flip these up. So this is your first pitch, you're going to take off these connections here. Before we drop the panel down, it's best to get underneath here. And you want to move that clip there and the one on the other side release that because that's the front of the PCB covering and then the other one we're now going to pull off the wires from the PCB just slide them off Like I said before, we took a picture before we've done this, so we now can double check to make sure they go back in the right positions. That's it. So that's all done. Try that. It's coming up now. Like that. And like that. So you can see the colour coding, so you, you can't go wrong really. Now we're going to get the sides off. That's it, and then do the next one. That's it. So that's removed off. And I think the other side will just clip off now. And this is the other side. That's it. So it should just now lift up. So come on, get the new one now, please. Oh, before you do that, stop. What we're going to do, we're going to take that out of there. Yeah, I was about to ask that. <laughs> and then we'll put that into the new one. So we're now going to just lever that out, just shut it through the hole and then just leave it. That's it. We're now going to put that in the new one. That's it. Insert that in. That's it. Just basically insert that into them grooves so it clips on. Just have it flat, make sure it's all flat. So that's the correct position, you can see them two little squares, it lines up. We'll do the same on the other side. That's it. So that's locked in. We're just going to revert to our pitch what we took to make sure these are in the right position. Now we're going to do the front part, so you can see I've just got it in position, you can see the colour coding is correct, 
So I'm just going to slide that on like that. And that one like that. So once they're on, I can clip it down. That's down. And then you just push the front up. We're nearly there. We've turned the power back on. You can see the error code still showing. So now I'm going to do the battery reset by pressing these two like this. So you can see battery reset going across and let go. And then you're going to press this button here. And it's still a show. So where we're up to now, basically, because we've got this code, it's not clearing. It's still saying that the communication um, error between the PCB and the pump. Because you see me change a PCB, it must be the pump. So we're going to have to change the pump to clear this fault. We're back at the boiler again. So what we're going to be doing today is changing the pump. So the boiler is downstairs, as you can see here. So that means we're going to isolate the flow and return. And then we're going to drain the boiler and then start the pump removal. On this video, Miles is on this one. So he's going to be isolating the boiler. You've done this before, Miles, haven't you? Yep. So where's the drain pipe going to? That's it there. So now we're just turning that. Give it a twist. That's it. Anti clockwise. Need the water running out now. That's it. Can we do the expansion vessel? So that's done. But I will mention on these Worcester 30 eyes, for some reason, they're very, very difficult to pump up. All of our expansion vessels not a problem, but these Worcester 30i's, I don't know if you've noticed it. If you have, drop me a comment. I'd like to know your feedback. We've now close that off. Just gonna remove the hose pipe. And then let the hunger games begin. We're now gonna remove the plug. You have to just wind it off. Now we're gonna remove this white thing here. That's like a stop, I think. Need a sign of drivers to flick it out. Right now, that's it. And we're now just going to pull out that plug. We're now going to undo the, the bolts on the um, pump, the four bolts with our T bar. On this, you're going to have to use like a snap action to do it. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to do the four bolts. What we'll do, we'll take the bottom ones off first. We'll keep the top ones on because you'll have water coming out the bottom of the pump. And I've got a bowl underneath here to catch the water. So we're just going to loosen the top ones now because the bottom ones are removed. That's it, stop. So that's a lot coming out. So that's why we've done the bottom ones first. So then we know it's going to run down at the bottom and we can control it. So if we need to stop it, just press it in. And then just do that to let it out. You can keep it under control then. That's a technique. Can you see that? Yep. This time I want to remove just one of them screws and leave one in. So now for the final one, we have to keep our hand on the pump. Because obviously it'll just fall off. Now I'll just pull that off now. That's it. These are our two pumps. That's the old one, that's the new one. The problem with the pump, we'll look at the old one, is inside there's a PCB, so there's some communication error between that and the board. So that's why we're changing the pump. So we're just going to do the reverse. Put this on and put the bolts in. Okay. 
I'm sure it's lovely. Oh, yeah. Just get a few turns on that one and then do the next one. Just a few turns. So what you're going to do now is basically you're going to go tighten that one, not dead tight, just a bit tight, and then that one a bit tight, and that one, and that one, and a bit more tighter, a bit more tighter. So you're all taking around even. We're going to put this plug in first. That's a plan B. You can see where it goes onto the PCB inside the pump. And then what we do right there, go that way, it's going to slide on. Just put that back off. Bit fiddly, but it will go. There it goes. So we're just putting that one on now. That's it. Let's put the isolation valves now. So, it's nearly there, we'll just put a little bit more in. At 1.3, then the next one, how oh, is it fell in? Bit more. You probably lose a bit, you know, through the ice wave, and yeah, that'll do. Just do it slow. What you do as well, give it a bit of an angle. Just make sure there's no water there. And then put that down into that. So, so I'll go and it will if you talk to it properly. So we're just turning on, that's the air coming out the auto air vent, that's why I said put a bit more pressure in, because mm -hmm. you'll lose some. So we're waiting here now to see if that cord comes back on. And up to now it's not appeared. So that means we've done it. So it was that. So all we now, now need to do is just put it in heating mode, just to get rid of the air in the boiler, let go around the system for a few minutes. But that's it as far as I'm concerned. So you've seen the full story on this type of fault and what you have to do so you now know what to do. So that's going to end this video from me and Miles. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.